Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial you learn how to create an aging analysis report using Power Query. This report automatically updates with new data just by refreshing. No need to go back to your raw data file. If you're passionate about automation, download the file using the link in the description below and follow along as you build your own dynamic aging analysis report together. Let's get it started. This is the data that we'll be working with. So the next step is to get it into Power Query. Click it, then go to Data, then from Table Range, then make sure you check my table has headers, then press OK. Press OK. This will, this will automatically take us to the Power Query Editor. Power Query Editor allows us to transform data remove duplicates, remove errors, add columns, and merge columns. So this is our data. It has already been uploaded. This is the customized ribbon. If you're new to Power Query, please check on this video I did on Power Query. That is where we do a transformation. That is how we add our columns. That is the view. Okay, let's go back. If. Then let's go to the invoice date. Invoice date. And change it to dates. Okay. Then replace current. The next thing you are going to add columns. We are going to do the due dates. So let's go to add column. Then custom column. So Power Query uses M language. So just type due date. Is equals to date. Date dot add this let's delete it let dot add this okay then open the bracket then as then let's pick invoice date then let's do 30 then press enter Then let's format this to date. Then let's move it next to the invoice date. Then let's format the date. So we are going to do aging analysis. Go to add columns, then age. So let's format it. The whole number. Okay, the next thing we are going to, to add aging columns. This is where we are going to calculate our buckets. So let's go to add column, then conditional formatting. Let's name this one aging. We are going to use if formula. So if age is less than, less than zero, we are going to say this is not due yet. That's the output, not due yet. Add clause if age is less than or equal to or equal to 30. Then output be 1 to 30 days. Add clause if age if age is less than or equal to sixty then thirty one to sixty days. Add 
add clause if age is less than or less than or equal to 90 then it's 61 to 90 days otherwise above 90 days then press ok ok we will we've already done our buckets they are here so the next thing is to add the outstanding column we have the paid and the invoice amount so just go to add column Click invoice amount, then pay the amount, then go to add column, then press that down, go to subtract. It has already subtracted, so this is the outstanding amount. Outstanding amount. Okay. So let's remove unnecessary columns. Hold control, click them, remove paid. Let's also remove uh, invoice amount, age. Okay, we're going to remove these ones. Go to home and remove columns. So we've already remained, in, we've already remained with the ones that are important. The next thing we are going to do is to unpivot the columns such that the due dates not due yet go to the goes, goes to the to the column and the amount to the rows. So go to transform. To transform, click pivot. Then let's click this one with the outstanding amount. Then press OK. Nice. So if you can see, it has null values. So the next thing we are going to do is to replace the null values with the with zero. Let's rearrange this one. Not due to be the first. Let's rearrange. Okay, now they're in order. So let's remove the nulls. So hold on to control. Click these ones. Then you'll go to replace va replace values. Then you're going to type null. So remember, Power Query is case sensitive. Press null with zero. Then press OK. OK, that's nice. OK, the next thing we're going to do is well, let's add another column for the total amount. This one we're going to use custom format. So let's say total. Total equal, not due yet, plus, plus 1 to 30 days, plus 31 to 60 days, plus 61 to 90 days, plus above 90 days, then press OK. So the next thing is to format it. See it's in text format. So click and pick. Let's go with the whole number. So it's nicely done. The next thing is to load this into Excel. So, so Power Query keeps all these steps such that if you load new data, you don't have to do it again. It just it does it automatically.
So the next step is to load this into Excel, go to Home, then click Close and Load. Click this one with the options. This one allows you to put in the existing or in a new worksheet. Let's go to the, go with the existing. So let's click that one. Let's go to our Aging Analysis Report tab. This is where we are going to put it. Let's put it here. Then press OK. So our data has been loaded. This is it. So let's let's format it. Click it. Go to table. Then let's go with light. Let's go with that one. So you want to add the totals here. What you do? Click anywhere in the table. Then go to table design. Click total rows. Then here press Alt equal to add that one. Click this one and drag. Okay. So let's remove the filters. Let's format this. Go to cell styles. So for the heading, let's go with the first one. Then for the totals, let's go with that one. Let's reformat it again. I like these ones. And choose a font. Okay, let's go with 12. Let's format this one. Let's give it a color. That green color is okay. And white for the font. Let's go to the total. Highlight it. Pick that color fill. Then font color white. Then let's highlight this to format the, the values. Let's put a separator. Okay. Let's add a title here. Highlight, center it. Then let's write aging analysis. Aging analysis report report using using Excel Power, Power Query. The less formatted, let's give it a font. Make it bold, give it a font size. That's too big. Let's go with that one. Let's go with 20. Okay, let's resize these ones. Let's reduce this to, let's go with 11. Okay, let's change that one to 22. It's coming out nicely.
So these are aging analysis reports. So let's try and add some data here and see if it can automatically refresh. So let's add this data. Let's type a name, Gianna. Let's give it a date, 26th of April, 2025. Amount paid, zero. And the amount there is 50,000. Okay, then let's go. Let's go back to our aging analysis report. Left click, then refresh. You see it has, it has updated Gianna. You can also reschedule your, your update so that it updates automatically. Just go to refresh, then options, then come here. Then you go to refresh every, so you can choose the minutes that you want, but you want to go with one minute. You want it to refresh after every one minute it refreshes, then press OK. So let's try it out. Let's add uh, the paid amount to be 50,000 in these two. 50,000, then this one 50,000. Let's see. It's for back and so for those two, then let's see if it's going to refresh. It has already refreshed. So this thing is fully automatic. This is our aging analysis report. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe, comment, like, share, and follow. Goodbye.